He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Creating mass destruction the old school way meant taking objects and manually scoring them at their breaking points, which is breaking it apart and putting it back together for later destruction, kind of like that vase I broke and glued back together in fifth grade. And then... I'm just being honest. <laughs> it's a watershed moment for me. You had to... Just putting it out there. Had to come clean tonight. Right. It's the first step. I hope your mom's not watching. And then you were at the mercy of the real world physics as to how the models destructed. destructed. Did they fall in the right direction? Would they hit other buildings? And you only got one take to do it. As filmmakers come up with spectacular ways for aliens to destroy global man landmarks, digital artists have come up with better solutions to give them more control. When Roland Emmerich needed to demolish Los Angeles in the film 2012, he went to Digital Domain for the answer. The artists at Digital Domain used an open source software called Bullet, a physics engine which included tools for rigid body dynamic simulations. Bullet was developed for real-time use in video games. Bullet's rapid approximate simulation of vast numbers and rigid bodies made it attractive for large-scale destruction simulation. Sony Imageworks was quick to quick to integrate Bullet into their destruction system, while simultaneously Digital Domain also started developing the Drop Destruction Toolkit. Incorporating Bullet's engine and helping guide it toward a focus on the scale and detail required for motion pictures. The result was the spectacular annihilation of our beloved City of Angels. At nearly the same time, a developer at Sony Pictures Imageworks was doing the same thing with their pipeline. The combination of influence on Bullet from both Sony and Digital Domain made the tool useful for the broader visual effects community. The Academy presents a Technical Achievement Award to Erwin Kumans for his development of the Bullet Physics Library and to Nafis Bin Zafar and Stephen Marshall for their separate development of the two large-scale destruction systems based on Bullet. Gentlemen, please come up. Thank you, Miles and Marco. <laughs> I accept this award on behalf of the entire Drop development team. Mar Morton Larson, Ryo Sakaguchi, Michael Clive, Ram Sampath, Ken Museth, and Dave Stevens. Um, and also the entire Digital Domain Effects Department. I want to thank my colleagues at Digital Domain, DreamWorks, and Oriental DreamWorks for going along with all of my harebrained ideas I want to thank my mentor, Doug Robel. I want to thank my parents for all of their love and support. And I'd like to dedicate my award to my father for teaching me to persevere against very difficult problems. Thank you very much. Unlike most people here, um, the Bullet Physics Library is just a hobby of mine. So sometimes people ask you, how, many, how much time uh, in your current job do you, do you spend on Bullet? I say 100% basically. So I had to track basically Sony Computer Entertainment and AMD and Google to let me work 100% of my time, which they do actually for the last 10 years, which I'm very uh, thankful for. For, the, for, the, for supporting the open source, basically. And uh, of course, I thank my wife, beautiful wife, in the kimono over there, uh, and my... My son, um, Oscar, which I called for a special reason, Oscar, and Nina, which both of them are upstairs. <laughs> and um, last but most important, I thank the supporters of the Bullet Physics Library and contributors. Um, thank you. Okay. It's certainly an, an incredible honor, um, but the Sony Destruction Pipeline wouldn't have been possible without the contributions of Dave Davies, Sasha Mercipassi, Chris Allen, and Scott Shinnerman, and all the effects artists over the years who, had, uh, who used it and actually drove it forward. Thanks. <laughs>